let's log on to oracle so sql plus slash as sys db in this session let's do some table space management this is one of the important function of a dba okay so concentrate and practice what i teach in this session okay so before we actually work on the table spaces data files let's see what are the various table spaces and data files present in the oracle database so one of the important data dictionary table is dba underscore data underscore files let's see what are the columns in this data dictionary table so it is dba underscore data underscore files okay so we have file name file id table space name bytes block status and lots of other columns we will learn these columns one by one okay let's not rush it through okay so let me find out what is the table space name okay the corresponding file name and let me see the bytes allocated so let me do this yeah this is the problem with sql plus so the data is not displayed in a right way so let's use some sql plus commands i just copied over there so that it's quick to do that so we will set the line size to 150 and then we will set the table space name format to a30 okay and then we will set the file name column to a50 okay so that's done so let's execute our select statement selected that and then let me paste that and then let's check it out okay so we have four table spaces the users table space undo tbs table space sys aux table space and the system table space we have other table spaces like the temporary table space which we will look at it later here the users has one data file which is called user01.dbf and it is about 5 mb okay so if you want to see in mb yeah you can do that okay let me copy that and let me paste let me copy this okay and paste it here and let's divide by 1024 so that makes to kb i'll divide another 1024 that makes it to mb from dba data files okay so this is 5 mb this is 30 mb this is 490 mb and this is 740 mb okay that's good now why don't we create a new table space let's do that it is very easy create table space and what the name you want to give let me give as tbs1 and then what will a table space contain it will contain a data file right so data file and you have to mention the location so i want to create in disk 2 prod1 data slash data file name i will give it as data 01.dbf okay and what should be the size of this data file let's start with 1 normally you wouldn't give 1 mb but just for the demo i'll start with a small size and then we'll increment it okay so m so now we created a table space tbs1 with one data file of size 1 mb so now let's use the same select statement and then run it you see tbs1 table space is created with one data file and the size is 1 mb cool right okay so now for the purpose of the demo let's create a table and store the data in the tbs1 table space okay so for that let me 
let me open a new terminal okay and then let's move on to oracle okay pwd present working directory is home in oracle so let me move to disk 2 I have created a small script okay called test one dot sql okay so here you see i am dropping a table student if the student table is not there it says table does not exist and then immediately i am creating a table called student with columns s number and s name and you see i am mentioning table space tbs1 that means all the data which i insert into the table student will be stored in the table space tbs1 and after that i wrote a small pl sql script it's nothing fancy just a for loop and i'm inserting around 10000 records into the table student okay and i'm closing it this is just for the demo okay i'll come out of this okay and then let's run this script okay so to run that script at the rate slash it is present in disk 2 right and the file name is temp1 not temp1 test1 test1 dot sql okay so since the table is not there it says table or view does not exist it's okay table created and the pl sql procedure successfully completed okay now let's see how much space it occupied so for that let's use the dba underscore free space data dictionary table so i'm copying that and then let me paste it here so this is the number of free bytes so totally how many bytes it is so for that we have to use the dba data files right so let me paste that and see tbs1 has totally around 1,048,576 bytes that's almost equal to 1 MB and then as we inserted data you see only 589,824 bytes is remaining so half of the size was consumed for the data in student table okay so now let's do one more thing interesting okay so now I'll go here and I'll edit this script okay and here instead of 10,000 I will insert 100,000 rows and see if the data can be inserted into the student table or not okay I will save this okay and now I'll go here and I'll execute that script slash this 2 slash test 1 dot sql oops it says unable to extend table sys dot student by 8 in table space tbs1 what it means is like it is saying there is no enough space to store all those hundred thousand rows you have only one mb and you are inserting hundred thousand rows and there is no space really so now the developer whoever is inserting data into the student table opens a service desk ticket or calls you or sends an email saying i don't have any space can you add more space so now your dba work starts you see how the work comes to you okay now what are the options we have three options either to increase the size of the data file or add one more data file to the table space or use the auto extend on option right okay so let's use the first option which is increasing the size of the data file for that what should we do we need to use alter database data file and the data file for which we need to increase the size is what is it this one right so let me copy that copy and let me paste it here and uh, what's the size we want we want it to be let's do 10 mb okay so resize so we are resizing it to 10 m and database alter so now 
let's see what's the size okay for that let me copy this and then let me paste and you see TBS1 has 10 MB of space you see just using the alter database data file and the data file name and resize and the size you could increase the size of a table space right okay now let's go ahead and run the script okay this two slash test one dot sql see the pl sql procedure is successfully completed that means whatever the data the user was trying to insert it could perfectly fit in the table space tbs1 congratulations you have done an excellent job okay so now let's see one more method the other method is adding a new data file to the existing table space here the tbs1 has only one data file and it can hold around 10 MB so why don't we add one more data file so for that alter table space tbs1 that's the name and we are saying add add a data file data file and where do you want to add it add it in disk 2 prod 1 data folder and the dbf file i want it to be data 02 dot dbf and how much size i want to do size i'll give 20 yeah okay and you see table space is altered and now let's use this select statement and see the table space you see tbs1 has two data files one is data 01.dbf and the other one is data 02.dbf the first one has 10 MB and the second one has 20 MB. So totally it has 30 MB of space. Cool, right? Yes. Now let's see the third option where we can use auto extend on option. Okay. So let's delete this table space. Okay. And then let's go there. So to delete it is draw table space tbs1 so this is the table space we are dropping and we want to even delete the data and the data files also so you have to mention including contents and data files so it will delete the table space including its contents and the data files so the table space is successfully dropped so let me run the same statement and you see there is no table space called tbs1 okay now let's do the third option where we create the table space using the auto extend equal to on okay so for that create table space tbs1 data file disk2 prod1 data data 01.dbf okay and let me give the same size 1 m we know 1 mb is not sufficient to insert the data of the student so let's try it but here i am giving one more option called auto extend on that means even though I gave the initial size of 1 MB, if the Oracle database needs more space, it will automatically allocate more space to this table space TBS1. Okay. So, okay. Uh, here, I didn't mention A. Okay. So, copy that. And let me paste it. Data file okay copy paste okay you see i created a new table space tbs1 okay now let's check the size of this let 
let me copy that and paste it okay I copied the wrong one copy that paste it okay so the size of TBS one is one megabyte now let's run the script at the rate disk to slash test one dot c okay it successfully completed and now let's run the same select statement oops you did an excellent job you see what happened even though we created a table space tbs1 with 1 mb and when we tried to insert data it inserted the data how did it insert it auto extended that means it allocated more space to the table space and you see it's 5.0625 that means it auto allocated almost 4 MB. Why did it do that? Because we mentioned the auto extend on option. Okay, this is a very important option for DBAs because you don't want to constantly keep an eye on, on how much free size is there. So it's a headache. Instead of that, if you do auto extend on, so whenever more space is required, Oracle database automatically allocates the data okay but we need to be really careful if the users are inserting too much data and oracle database keeps on allocating all the space on the disk will be exhausted and your oracle database might crash okay so you need to be very careful when using the auto extend on option okay so i'll show you one more configuration when using the auto extend on okay before that let me drop this table space tables space tbs1 including contents and data files okay it's dropped and now let me create the same table space tbs1 data file disk2 slash prod1 slash data slash data 01 dot dbf okay and size let's start with 10m and we'll mention the same auto extend on option but we will add more parameters to it the next parameter is next 512 K. That means as soon as this 10 MB is finished, next time allocate only 512K. Okay, and again if that 512K is finished, allocate another 512K. Okay, so 512K is your increment size. And I'll mention one more parameter called max size. So I'm here saying that the max size cannot be more than 250 MB that means it will start with 10 MB and Oracle database will automatically allocate as needed in 512k chunks and it cannot exceed 250 MB okay this is a very 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 important thing and this is a perfect way of creating a table space okay it is successfully created now you are an expert in a table space management. You know how to create a table space, add more size, add one more table file and use the auto extend on option. Okay, please practice this and this is really important.